since it is the end of the year, we like to reflect on things that happened in the past year and kind of make resolutions. But since this is a fashion show, we thought we'd come up with a list of some models that actually inspired us in 2013. Now, when you think of the fashion industry, you think of people who are obsessed with perfection and beauty and maybe unrealistic, healthy, um, unhealthy standards. But Fortunately, there are some women who are doing some really great things, shattering the body standards and kind of setting some really good examples. So let's check out a few of these amazing women. First up, we have the beautiful, timeless Iman. She's the wife of David Bowie, of course. She did something pretty major. She teamed up with Naomi Campbell this year and she's been campaigning against all the major fashion weeks in the world, saying there's not enough diversity of men and women on the catwalk and they want to see it come back. You know, she even said in an interview with ABC earlier this year, back in the 70s when she started, there were more black women on the runway then. So we certainly hope her campaigning will um, force these designers to bring more diversity on the catwalk, Brian. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, I'd love to see more of, <laughs> more of what Amon's doing and more diversity on the catwalk especially. Well, one, one woman who probably is, you know, anything, I, I would say less, you know, I wouldn't say an example of diversity would be Christy Brinkley. She's just pure classicism here. She made a breakthrough in the 70s as a swimsuit model. And here at the ripe old age of 59, she's made a comeback. Um, you know, she just signed a contract with IMG with her daughter, Sailor, who's featured here. You see both of them. And I mean, I can't believe she's 59. Does she look 59 Not to you, Not at Asha? all. She's just a timeless classic beauty, which shows that, you know, age is just a number, right? Age is really just a number. And that's her contribution, I think, for inspiring women. Yeah. You know, she's working with her daughter. And when her, her daughter asked her if she should go on a diet, she said, no, you need to be, you don't need to be skinny. You just need to be happy with yourself and confident and fit. So thanks for the inspiration, Christy Brinkley. Yeah, that's a really important message for women out there. Next up, we have one of my favorites, this gorgeous, voluptuous woman. Her name is Velvet Damore. She's an American model, but she's based in France. And when she started out in her early 20s, she was in New York. She was 117 pounds, which is nothing, but she was told she was too fat, which is, you know, something that's wrong with the fashion industry. So she decided, you know what? Screw you guys. I'm going to put on weight. She became a plus size model and has never looked back. She's so successful and she's kind of a spokeswoman for um, healthy body body image she started an online magazine called vol up too and she's kind of speaking out and being an advocate for posi po body positive statements which I think is uh, really awesome so next up another woman who's doing something really positive is Tara Lynn another American model Elle France dubbed her the body. She's taken over Elle McPherson's title, which is uh, <laughs> pretty amazing. rad. Yeah. She is on the cover here of Elle in Spain, and it was the first time a plus size model has been featured on the cover of a high fashion magazine. So it's pretty awesome. This went viral, and she just loves being uh, a representative of real curvy women out there. So good for Tara. And finally, we were talking about age just being a number before, check out this gorgeous woman. Her name is Daphne Self. She's 85 years old. She's reportedly the oldest working model in the world, which means she's probably done more campaigns than Giselle and Heidi. Um, she was featured in a British retailer, TK Maxx, in a campaign that they did this year, showing diversity. And, you know, when they asked her, would you ever have plastic surgery or have a bit of a nip and tuck? She was like, I don't think so. It's just a waste of money. So good for her. She's representing diversity and women of all ages. Brian, I love that. I think yeah. she's amazing. No, Daphne is a real inspiration. She absolutely has, I think, you know, showed, really does show that age is just a number. Um, yeah. We actually talked about yesterday, you know, Carmen uh, De La Refice, right? Isn't that how you say her last name? The, the lovely, she's like huge, you know, uh, like she's 70 plus and still modeling. So I think age really is a number. And both of these women, both Carmen and you know, Daphne are real inspirations. So yeah. great to see just women who are doing something different and doing something positive for the industry and showing young fans that it can um, you can be who you are and still be accepted. So that's awesome. I really hope we see this trend in diversity and casting for modeling in 2014. I hope so too. Don't you? I think it's definitely changing. Like the industry's changing a lot. People are doing drastic things and mm -hmm. it's gonna change for sure. Good. Yeah, I think so too. For more TaylorMade, visit us on EmpowerMe.tv, Daily Motion, and YouTube. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Until soon, stay fashionable.